Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, you are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Divine Family, this is a general energy check-in. It's not going to resonate with all of you, so just take what resonates and discard the rest. Do not try to force it to fit, okay? Uh, also, uh, thank you all for your personal bookings and your donations. Uh, very, very much appreciated. Uh, if you're looking for a personal reading and you're new to the channel, all that information is located in my description box. Uh, we can bang that out and get that done, okay? So... Divine Femmes, cards have already been shuffled and drawn, and let's see what we have. We have hostilities in reverse. So this is what's coming towards you. Mm -hmm. Divine Femme, it looks like a time is coming in your life where you're going to be able to drop your defenses. You're not going to have to... Oh, okay. So I heard you're not going to have to stand up for yourself, like in terms of having to prove yourself to anyone. It's either they, someone sees it or they don't. Mm -hmm. But something that did not go through or you decided to not move forward with, it made you a stronger person. It made you a better person. And it helped you to master yourself. It helped you to master something. There was a situation with somebody that was all a part of your destiny. This was supposed to push you into your purpose. It's like you not going forward or you not choosing one direction leads you to a whole new direction. You not going forward with something, you not choosing to be in a relationship with someone or having relations with somebody. It allows you to get your shit together. Mm-hmm. I just feel like you bossed up. And that's why I was saying it's not like you... It's either someone sees it or they don't now. Because you're owning your power. You're walking in your power. So you don't need to be defensive. You don't have to prove anything to anybody. You're being who you are. I feel like you you learn how to relax into yourself. And that's just full acceptance of your light and your shadow side. That is full acceptance of your flaws, your so-called flaws, right? Full acceptance of your uniqueness, your mistakes, your achievements, the experiences that you've went through in your life, the wins, the losses, the lessons. Full acceptance of that. It's caused you to realize that you don't need to prove shit to nobody. Mm -mm. So why do you need to be defensive? This is beautiful energy. You learn how to relax, like really own who you are. And that's because you let something go. You decided not to move forward with someone or something. For some of you, this is a group. I'm hearing a community. Mm-hmm. And you're so much more powerful for it. You have storm warning. But if you see here, you see the 10. So that's the completion. So this talks about you, you knowing. You knowing that some, <laughs> it's not you knowing. You knowing who brings bullshit into your life and who doesn't. Who tries to hold you back or who was holding you back or holding you down and who isn't. You know who brings chaos and drama and conflict. You have learned. Mm -hmm. You've also learned what kind of relationships you want to be in, though. Yes. It's like you're very clear on uh, being around people or being with someone romantically that is creative, that uh, is intimate, that is vulnerable, that is stable. Secure, mm -hmm. grounded, rooted, connected. 
You know what kind of connections you want now. You know what kind of connections you're not standing for either. Divine fam, you done with drama and dramatic people. People that don't know where they're going, people that try to get you into partnerships or relationships that are going nowhere, mm -hmm. that are codependent, that erode your self-esteem and your self-confidence, that have you stuck, stale, stagnant, that influence you to forget yourself. You don't know who you are, you don't know where you're going. You're so focused on the wrong things. Brings a lot of chaos, drama, conflict, storms into your life. You know who brings these things and who doesn't. You know better now, so you're doing better. And this is the completion of a cycle. That's why I said you letting go of something or someone, whoo, this is on to a next level. A level of self-mastery. I feel like divine times you're in an energy where you don't play games with certain types of people anymore. You don't entertain certain types of behaviors mm -hmm, to certain types of tendencies. No. You know better. You can see right through these people. You have third chakra archangel Shemuel. This is what you should be preparing for. This is, this is about manifestation. Yes, it is. This is about manifestation of abundance, creativity, love, love in your life, harmonious relationships. A lot of you, um, Divine Femmes, you have angels that are surrounding you, working with you to help you to feel more confident in yourself to heal your chakras, specifically your third chakra. You're doing great. A lot of you, you're getting into this energy, if you're not in there already, of feeling more creative and wanting to explore. And um, I'm hearing reach the height of heights of your true potential. Dreaming big. A lot of you, you're learning how to think big, dream big, feel big. That's why I said earlier, your, your energy is like, <laughs> and your energy speaks before you enter the room. If you don't see me, it's because you can't. You're not on my level. Mm -hmm. So you're not worried about anybody. Oh, whoo. Divine Feminine, what a transformation. You're learning who to um, invest in and who not to, what to invest in and what not to. And when I say you are focused, you are not questioning shit. You know what you want, you see it, you believe it, you act as if and you are. Mm -hmm. You are focused, man. And whatever you're building, whatever you're manifesting, it is abundant. It is going to be abundant. It's not even... It's going to be, it already is. I feel like you're learning how to align with, uh, with what you want for your life, what happiness is for you. I'm going to pull some more cards, Divine Fem. A lot of you, whatever you're building, you are, you could be working on it day and night. But somebody is always on their phone, checking their stats, going over Google Analytics, doing numbers. Divine fans, you are working. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know what I feel? I feel like it's because you stopped directing your energy in a certain area. You have so much to spare now to pour into yourself. You're not questioning that you need to uh, uh, focus on yourself and invest in yourself. Mm-hmm. There's no more of that. You're also not questioning who you need not be investing in anymore. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you're just about your paper. Yeah. Your passions. Your passions attract your paper. Divine fam. Yes, it does. Some of you, you're either on fire already or you're going to be on fire. People are going to notice you. Look at this. Faith. Faith, walk by faith, not by sight. That's what you're doing, Divine Feminine. Yes, you are. This is a major arcana. 
a lot of you, you've surrendered to, I got to believe this before I see it. I got to see it in my mind's eye and I just got to act like if that's what's going on right now. And guess what? It is. Mm -hmm. A lot of you, you, this is a major account of, well, this is healing. So spirit wants you to have faith and know that you can heal from this situation with this, with your person. For some of you, this is your person and other people. I'm hearing community, people you thought that had, they had your back, people you thought you knew. Spirit said you will heal from this. Have faith. Hmm. Look at this. This is your person. Divine Femme, this also talks about your person needing healing. Yeah. Um, someone is their mind. They, they a lot of uh, trauma. I'm hearing emotional trauma that hasn't been healed from. Um, psychological, mental. Wow. Someone is having a breakdown. Mm -hmm. Your person's having a breakdown. Yeah, they have faith, but they don't know what to do. And they keep doing the same things over and over again. It's insanity. That's what, that's what I was picking up. The breakdown, it's insanity. Someone could be acting crazy around you. Divine family, a person could be just, I'm hearing, acting unhinged. Have you ever seen that movie, Unhinged? That dude was fucked. <laughs> I couldn't even watch it. I had to, Halfway through, I was like, no, nah, I can't even do this one. Can't do this. I can't take these. I'm an empath. This is too much. But your person is acting, they may be acting erratic, acting crazy. I'm hearing bursting through the seams. Mm -hmm. They have faith. Look at this. Oh, man. They have faith that things will balance out. They see that you are balanced. They have a desire. They want to be with you. Oh, yes, they do. Because they look at you as happiness and fulfillment and satisfaction. Somebody is going crazy, divine fam. Because you're not in their life anymore. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to prepare for this. <laughs> right? Prepare for this. You already know what's up with your person. Okay? A lot of you, because you stopped investing in your person, you're able to focus on what you need to focus on. Your abundance comes in. The manifestations, the desires of your heart, they start to come to fruitation you start seeing the shit that you want to happen in your life it's happening it's happening a lot faster too because you're directing your energy into the areas that it needs to be now your person is watching you they're watching you like a motherfucking hawk yes they are someone is spying on you on social media some of you divine fans your person is following other people that you know so that they can spy on your shit creeping your page they're being a creep. Mm -hmm. And that's because they look at you as fulfillment. They look at you as everything. Hmm. They don't know what to do. Wow. Another major arcana. Your person sees that you don't... Your person believes that you don't love them anymore. Mm -hmm. As I can feel this feel like someone's heart is like floating in their stomach. Like they just, they could be acting out because they're terrified. Uh, at this, I just heard new reality that the love is not there for them anymore, the way how it used to be. Things have changed regardless if they want to accept it or not. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm hearing unrequited love. How the tables have turned, Divine Feminine. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to prepare for this. Mm -hmm. You've healed. Okay? You've healed from this. You've let this go. You've let go of emotional wounds, emotional scars. You've healed. You've moved on. Hmm. Your person wants you to forgive them. 
Yeah. Ah. They want you to forgive them. They want to get back together. They want to reconcile. Some of you, your person may come towards you like, let's be friends. You know, I don't want to, but it's a lie. They want to be with you. This person inside, it's like they're dying inside without you. Someone is going crazy, but they're not listening to their intuition. They're not listening to their guides. Mm -hmm. It's like right now, you guys are, as much as they want you to be together, it was your destiny to not move forward with them. Okay? At least not right now. But they are so hoping that you'll get back together. Mm -hmm. But no, another major arcana. De Divine Feminine, my gosh. My gosh. <laughs> this is major arcana. Like when I say your life, you are different. Everything about your life, if it has not changed, it's about to. You could be seeing five fives, triple fives everywhere. Pause. Your life is different because you're different. Okay, you are following your path. You are on your mission. You're moving in your purpose. You are focused. Whatever you are building, you are focused. And you are not asking anyone's permission to move forward in your life. This is my bad bitch slash goddess energy. You're remembering. You're relaxing into yourself. You're remembering that you are God and goddess alike. You get it done. You're focusing on the things that are important to you. If someone is not on your agenda, that's because they are not important. Hmm. Your person is dying inside about this. They really want to get back together. Spirit said prepare for this because they're coming around. Yeah, they're coming around. Look at this double confirmation. Your person's coming around. They're going to drop their defenses with you. Yeah. They're going to drop. They don't want to fight with you. That's why Spirit said that's what's coming towards you. A time is coming when you can drop your defenses. Your person's not going to want to fight anymore. I'm seeing, um, is it five of swords? They're going to feel defeated, deflated. It's like they finally realize that their tactics, their strategies, the things that they were doing with you is not going to work. You don't approach an empress like that. You don't approach a high priestess, divine feminine like that. You don't get no play from divine femme like that. No, you get blocked, deleted, ignored, cut off, and cut out. Child or no child. Children are no children. That's why I was getting this energy of if either you see it or you don't. But this is what the fuck is up. This is bad bitch. I'm a god and goddess energy. I know this. Goddess moves energy. Mm -hmm. Your person, they're not, they will not know what to do with this one. <laughs> they just, I'm seeing someone in my third eye just staring in disbelief. Like they just dropped all their armor. Like, oh my God. I just, I, I don't even want to fight with you. I just want to be with you. Ah. I can't believe I messed this up with this person, with this type of energy. I can't believe. Oh my goodness. But you on the other hand, Divine Feminine, you've accepted things for what they are. Yeah? You've accepted that it's not going to be what you thought it was. You've accepted yourself. You're okay with this. <laughs> you absolutely are. There was a point in time, Divine Fan, when the thought of not being with your person or not having for your person in your life, it could have made you feel a way. It could have had you in your feelings. Mm -hmm. You're completely okay with this now. Life goes on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've also accepted the fact that someone is just not, when it comes to you, they're just not going to get it together. I feel like you've accepted the fact that your person is just the way they are. And what can you do about it? Nothing. You can just move forward with your life. Some of you just accepted the fact that your person's drama. Mm -hmm. But you're not dealing with it because you know better. You're focused on more important things. 
Yeah, you're focused on giving to yourself, loving yourself, being generous with yourself, building your life, healing your heart, healing your life. That's what you're focused on. I just heard accepting um, a spade for taking a spade for a spade or mm -hmm, calling a spade a spade. Like, okay, this didn't work out. Life is okay. I'm going to be just fine. I am just fine. You know what it is? I feel like this mirroring, right, of you and your person. So your defenses are up. You both have your armor up. You both have your swords up. Like, uh, you know, don't cross this line today, nigga, right? And then Divine Femme, you get into this energy where, and I just feel like it's a natural uh, maturing of your energy, of you just realizing that you don't need to participate in bullshit. You do not need to invite certain things into your life anymore if you don't want to. If someone wants to be in your life, they have to act like it. And if they don't, it's okay. Life goes on. So you drop the defenses. And your person, it kind of took them aback because they were just like, whoa, you're not fighting with me. You're not arguing with me. You're not responding to my text messages. You're not responding to my emails. You're not trying to argue with me about anything. It's like you really just don't care. You don't love me. You're not giving me any type of energy in any form, even if it's me pissing you off and you responding. Nothing. You're focused on other things that are more important for real. Mm -hmm. That's where you are, Divine Feminine. That's why your person just dropped the guard because they're just like, wow, I don't need to. She's not even fighting with me. <laughs> she is not giving me no time, no energy, no play, no nothing. Divine Feminine, you realize how important your energy is. You also realize who gets it and who doesn't. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Where can I get one more? Can I get one more for Divine Feminine? For some of you, this is groups of people. You realize who you're going to be spending time with and who you're not. Not everyone deserves your energy. This is, this is what allows you to be more creative because you have more, you're di directing your energy. I'm seeing like laser focused on whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. If something does not align with you, they're not helping you get to where you want to go or be who you're supposed to be. You ain't even fucking with it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, it's like the levels of going from boss, <laughs> boss, bossy, bad bitch, goddess. Mm -hmm. You're in leader energy. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. This is a new beginning for you. That's why you got 10 with storm warning. The storm is over. The worst is behind you. You already know who brings drama, who doesn't. You've let all of that shit go. You've mastered your feelings as well, too, Divine Femme. Your person cannot get you in. They can't get you upset about certain things anymore. The gaslighting, the head games, it doesn't even work on your ass. No, because you let this go. You have to care about what your person's doing in order to get upset about stuff like that. The things they do, the things they don't do. And you don't care. No, you accepted this for what it is. It is what it is, baby. Life goes on. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of living to do before you die, and you ain't got time to waste. Divine feminine. This energy is like, whoa. Mm -hmm. Because you're moving in wisdom. This is major arcana. Look at this. Let me show you something here. Wisdom, knowledge. <laughs> uh, there's a song, a reggae song. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow I all the days of my life. Goodness, mercy, wisdom, knowledge, divine, feminine. Like I said, you move. These are goddess moves. Goddess moves. You know better, so you're doing better. Mm -hmm. You only focus on the things that are going to get you to where you want to go and be who you are supposed to be. Mm-hmm. New beginnings in your life. Woo! Because you're balanced. You recognize the polarity of things. It's okay for people to be different from you. You can agree to disagree. You can accept that someone's going to be a top shelf piece of shit. But you ain't fucking with them anymore. <laughs> because you're balanced. Yes. Um... Third chakra Archangel Shamuel also talks about 
justice, divine justice. You walking away and walking towards a new life, a new beginning for you uh, from that energy of what you've learned and what you know now. Mm -hmm. Experience teaches and speaks volumes. You've been through it. Uh, the storm is over. Your life is balanced because of everything that you learned. Mm -hmm. You recognize that there's different energies. Uh, there's going to be a lot of different energies on this planet. I just heard you win some, you lose some. Keep it moving. But balance is being restored to your life. This is justice from the divine. Mm -hmm. Divine fans, I'm going to leave it there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go into an extended with this. Um, I want to see what your person's karma is for all of their fuckery. Mm -hmm. I want to see what your karma is for all of these blessings. I want to uh, see get some of these blessings that are coming towards you. Mm -hmm. And anything else that spirit wants you to know, things you need to be aware of. Okay, so Divine Femmes, this is what I have for you. Uh, if you are interested in getting a more in-depth look at this, uh, this whole situation and where it, what it is um, evolving into, join me in the, in the extended. I want to pull some stuff on your stack, mm -hmm. on your love life. Mm -hmm. And what's going on within you? What things you need to continue to work on? Oh, it's going to get juicy, baby. <laughs> I'll see you in the extended Divine Femmes. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for checking out the vid. Much appreciated. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.